All right, thank you. Um, so that was a resident um, in the room down there, and they said that they could hear some noise coming from the room next to them, yeah, and we're wondering if we could go check it out. Oh, let's do it. Do you want to take point on this, or do you want me to? Uh, I think I'll just write down the notes. Oh, okay. Can you really check it out? Yeah, we got the notes now. We'll just keep it down. Okay, um, actually when we came up, we heard some bottles clinking as well, so that makes us a little worried. Oh. Um, do you mind if we step in? Um, I mean, we can go. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, so um, is everybody that's in the, this room in this space right here? You can stand up. Behind the chair. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, first off, I just want to point out that like, the occupancy for this room is only four people. And right now, there's six of you in here. So um, that's just something to take note of, and that is a policy violation. And also, we heard some bottle clinking as we walked up to the room. Uh, have you guys been drinking? No. OK. I also have noticed that there is a bottle in on the dresser right there. Would you mind bringing that to the center of the room? Okay. That's just decoration. Yeah, it's still alcohol paraphernalia, whether it's decoration or not, and it looks like it is full of alcohol. So that's water. Um, water, really? Uh, do you mind it. opening it so I can smell it, please? It does indeed smell like alcohol. Uh, is there any other alcohol bottles or um, alcohol in this room at all? No. Mm -mm. I don't. So we heard clinking. Oh, so there's some shot glasses. Could you put those in the middle of the room too? And I also noticed this candle, which is another policy violation. So can you bring that to the middle of the room as well? Thank you. Do you mind also putting the shot glass in your hand in the middle of the room too? Sure. Thank you. Um, there's another bottle up there. Guys, this is going to be your last chance uh, to bring out any other alcohol or alcohol paraphernalia to the middle of the room. I'm more than comfortable calling my supervisor and calling Campus PD if it needs to happen. <coughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Are there any else in these drawers right here? Oh, hello, hi. Um, can you please come in the middle of the room as well? Hello. Sorry, lost my contact, but I found uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so are there any other alcohol bottles? Anything else? All right, so whose room is this? Oh, thank you. You can, you can just pick them up. Here, um, please set them in the middle of the room. Can you please put them up? Why can't you just do it? Uh, it's he needs to touch the alcohol bottles. Thank it's, you. If we're not supposed to have it, why are we supposed to touch it? Um, can whose room is this? All right, can you please come with me to dump the alcohol uh, the alcohol bottles, and can everyone else please give me up your IDs? I can't hold them all by myself. It's okay. We can make multiple trips. Also, since we saw someone pop out from underneath there. Can we get a confirmation that this is everyone in the room? Because we did hear lots of voices. Mm -hmm. It's everyone. Don't mind opening the closet doors for me, please? It's not my room. I don't want yeah. like, I... We'll wait till she comes back, then. Are you allowed to do this? Yes, we are. But like, it's, it's like my, it's like her room, you know? It's also my alcohol, so. Yes. And she paid for it and everything. Yeah, how's that fair? Well, right now everyone here is 
but at least because she's a resident here, she's underage, and if you're underage, you're not allowed to have alcohol, regardless of whether or not it was purchased or not. And can I also get all your IDs, please? I don't have mine. Do you have any sort of identification on you? Mm -hmm. Because it's actually illegal not to have an ID on you in this state, and so I'm trying on that. Thank you. All right, so do you want to come with me? We're going to go recycle these. Do you want to uh, go ahead and put them in your recycling bin? We'll carry them for the recycling room. So, like, are we going to get, like, a slap on the wrist or something? Or? Um, what's going to happen from here? What Milop and I are going to do is just document the situation that happened. So what we did is we found one, two, three, four, five... Six Can I also beer get bottles? the state IDs of everyone who hasn't given me one? Just because this was an alcohol incident to verify whether or not you were of age. I can pull mine out. Yeah, so we're going to document that we have found six beer bottles and one um, vodka bottle, as well as three shot glasses and one candle. And so that will all go into an incident report, which will then get sent off to OSCCR. And from there, they will look at what we document. So all we do is document what we see, what we heard, what we smell, and so on and so forth. And then they will read that and um, figure out what to do from there as far as like breaking up community standards and that stuff. So like, are we going to get in trouble for this then? Uh, it's a possibility. There are community standards and community um, policies that have been violated. But as far as like what kind of trouble it's going to be, that's not for us to decide. But rather your ARD or your RG or people in OSCCR. <laughs> and then my parents are they? Huh? Can I finish all my parents, are they? I'm pre-med, so like, I, I have to get them open. Like, school. I got the early acceptance program. Like, I can't have this on my record. And, and I understand this is a really hard situation for you guys, but at the end of the day, like, you guys were here, this is happening. Um, it, it, it will be okay if you want to follow up with your RA tomorrow, or if you want to talk afterwards after getting this stuff down to the office, we can do that as well. Uh, and what was your name again? You said you don't live here? Yeah, Roshni. Okay, we're going to have to escort you out of the building because this is um, a policy violation. Okay. And as far as everyone else in the room, because it's over occupancy, everyone else needs to leave as well. <laughs> Great. Okay. Alright, guys. Why don't we, why don't you go with her to the recycling room, and then I'll take them and escort everyone else downstairs. Sounds good. Thank you, thank you guys.